Hello everyone and welcome back to a little bit more Python programming, looking at the PyEnchant module, and now we're going to move into personal word lists. So these are kind of interesting in that they supplement your dictionary objects. So here we go. Dictionary objects can also be used to check words against a custom list of correctly spelled words known as a personal word list. This is simply a file listing the words to be considered, one word per line. So, the following example creates a dictionary object for the personal word list stored in this file, or file name, mywords.txt. Okay, so, I don't know if you guys, if you guys have like an Android phone or anything. I have an Android phone, I have like the Samsung Galaxy. And whenever I'm sending a text message, and the phone uh, recognizes a word that it hasn't seen before, it gives me an option to like, hit this check mark, and that will add that word, or whatever I just typed in, whatever stupid mess I just typed in, It'll put that in, I would think, my own personal word list. Like, now it knows that, okay, this guy's going to use this word. <laughs> stupid John uses this stupid word. So, all right. Let's play with this in the code. I've got idle fired up here. I'm going to import enchant so we can work with it. And I kind of am curious what it will do, because I haven't created this mywords.txt file. I haven't done that yet. So I wonder if it will actually create that on its own. I'm sure it won't. <laughs> I guess I'm not sure it won't. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. So PWL is what they're doing. Personal word list equals request PWL and dict. And then uh, words.txt. Okay. So I guess it, it returned something. Do I have a uh, words.txt? I do. What's in words.txt? Sorry. There's nothing in there. All right. So what else can we do with this? Now, this personal word list dictionary has been kind of created and can be used the same way as dictionary objects, which reference a language dictionary. When the object's add method is called, new entries will be appended to the bottom of the file. So, so is it using just this file as the dictionary? Like, am I, am I testing PWL? Can I check if hello is a word? And it's not, because there's nothing in words.txt. But if I actually entered that in, hello, and now I know that that exists in there, I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to re-invoke this object so it knows that, okay, I've refreshed it on my own without, without using it in Python. Now if I check does hello exist, it does. Does it worry about case? I'm kind of curious. No, it does. Wow, okay. So here's an interesting thing. When the object's add method is called, new entries will be appended to the bottom of the file. So if I try and add something to our words.txt file within Python, not from within editing the file itself, if I did pwl.add, would it work okay? What if I added um, subscribe? <laughs> pwl.check. Is subscribe in there? It is. Now when I look at words.txt, hey, subscribe is right in there. Cool. That's pretty simple functionality, but, I mean, we can actually work with that stuff. Let's actually create, because it looks like there's an option that allows you to provide a dictionary with a PWL or a personal word list. So you can actually combine a language dictionary with the personal word file. Maybe maybe that's like what our Android phones do. That's, maybe that's like what my Samsung Galaxy does when it tries to keep track of words that I add to its dictionary. It's probably not adding it to the full language dictionary like we were doing in the last tutorial. Hopefully it's keeping them stored in a personal word dictionary or like a specific text file that's separate from the real English language dictionary. So let's add our... Um, Let's create a new word. Ooh. Kerfunkel. Kerfunkel. Ker, ker, Kirschner. Kirschner Funkel. <laughs> All right. I hope, I hope, I hope that's not a real word. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google Kirschner Funkel. What? <laughs> All right. I don't even know, but it looks like. Kirschner, Funk, all right, whatever, let's get back to the freaking tutorial. So now what we can do uh, is we can create a dict with PWL or a dictionary with the personal word list. Let's try and do this. Uh, D, 
they're using D2, but we haven't created a D yet, so let's let's make our D. <sighs> Dict with PWL, um, capital D, capital W, and PWL is in all capital letters. Tag is necessary this time around, so we need to specify N U S. At least that's what I'm going to use. And then PWL is what we will include with it. So we would include the file name here. So words.txt. That's what we've got. So now we can d.check. Is it Kirshner Funkel? Kirshner Funkel. And we've got it. <laughs> now, if I did Kirshner Funk ol, to know. Of course, that's not a real word, but it's it's only able to see this Kirschner Funkel word not because it's in the English dictionary, but because it's in our words.txt personal word list that we already created with PWL or at least with Enchant, and that's how we were working with it. We added it to it from Python. That's pretty cool, pretty nifty, pretty simple stuff though. But I wanted to show you guys how it all works, and now we've got this words.txt file, which is pretty much our own personal words list. This can be as huge as we want it to be, and it works just fine with our Enchant library. Cool. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll jump into something new in the next tutorial, but I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thanks. See you later.